Hi man. Time to do another video. This is take two. Uh, say what you want about I'm moving now. Long it takes to upload these fucking videos there. Now, if YouTube, it's just instant. When I try to record live from webcam, there are some little issues. I think it's all the camera space or memory in my MacBook that I used up. Even this isn't convenient anymore. My shit starts off, you know, relatively quickly for an hour or so, and then around that third hour, fifth hour, seventh hour, it goes back to being ridiculously slow. So, I saw the second episode of Total Divas. I couldn't see the first one because I had something to take care of for the early Monday, but let's just say I really hate the Channel E. That's one of those things I agree with Jezebel with, even though I hate agreeing with her. And we kind of hate it for the same reasons, but different reasons, too. I hate it because it the females on the commercials. And it's always a bunch of females on the commercials. It looks like something straight out of a multicultural, diverse version of Hollywood during the 1950s. Trying to modernize something that's very vile, very sinister, and very shallow, too. And these are for relevant ass commercial like. I think some of these commercials were for acne, and I can understand that. And then there was just a bunch of other pointless commercials, like Smirnoff. Why the fuck is that brand of British liquor so popular now? I see more commercials of it now more than ever. Like, seriously, damn. And I can imagine Jezebel saying something about that being exploitative to women, but I just think that it's just telling us to be consumeristic dumbasses. Which, she would, maybe she thinks that's a bad thing too. At the same time, the whole thrift store trendy bullshit that she kind of supports, that's trash too. That, that's worthless. But when I just do see Total E, I, when I watch shows like The Kardashians, and this is a really fucked up thing to say, but I really do feel like I'm getting cancer from watching it. I feel like one of these days I'm just going to go to the doctor and he's going to say oh, there's something wrong. And, and if, if that is what it is, then I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, it's because I watched The Kardashian show, right? With like Kanye and... We all know how much I fucking hate that nigga Kanye. He, he, just, he just seems like one of those guys that's trying to stay relevant and succeeding in it and making money from it by sticking to these chicks that were relevant last decade when he was producing music and acting the way it was when it was relevant two decades ago. So it's just a bunch of dumb shit. Yeah, the same could be said about Jay-Z. Fuck that guy, too. Fuck off the throne. Fuck these coal burner fans. It's fuck everything. <sighs> Alright. When I actually watched the show... I didn't enjoy it because they actually do say curse words and like shit. And off the color words that aren't technically bad words like vagina. And that is something that is missing from the modern WWE. That edginess. And I really hate edginess in many ways. 
I feel like it's there just to be cool, and a lot of the time it is really vile and disgusting. And that edging is, there is a reason people clamor for it and to it. Because the way I see it, that vulgarity can sometimes be used for good. It's a neutral force, and it's it has power to it. And a lot of times when I'm watching this modern raw with the Muppets and the bubble gum and ice cream, that that just ain't that just ain't working. It's not. And that's why I feel this kind of brings to the table, brings some edginess to it. But the problem is, first off, Bella Twins, I don't really care for them. I don't consider them main inventors or top draws for a divas. Yeah, Kelly Kelly's gone. Eve's gone. Uh, Beth Phoenix is gone. Even then, it's not really about the Bellas. Who's it about? It's about AJ right now. And they're not really showing much of AJ. Isn't that kind of funny? It's about AJ and Caitlyn right now. These divas are actually doing some ass-kicking, not about some relevant-ass chicks that took their gimmick from the Blossom Twins and OVW. It ain't nothing like that. That's the one thing I can't stand about Raw and shit like that. The Divas are totally irrelevant and they're trying to bring some money to draw in for them, which is good. What's the point of having something if you can't get money off it from merchandising? Yet this show, I don't really think it's going to do much with it. I don't. And the thing with the Bellas is that they go out with, one goes out with Daniel Bryan, one goes out with Cena. We get to see a lot of their personal lives. Yet, these two are going to have a feud. And when you take the magic off of kayfabe, even though we already know it's kind of fake anyway, you take away that crowd ring connection. It becomes severed. And why break a fourth wall just to build another one? Because we know that reality TV is fake too. That's why Fandango here so acts like Fandango. That's why a lot of the characters, even though they're supposed to be off character, are still very much in it. I mean, why is Stephanie acting the way she is? I want in that stupid Eva Mary segment where. Because she had to be the mean girl, the chick flick, anti-hero. She had to like pretend that she could dance to get in the main spot via Fandango. And when she half asked something that she didn't even prepare to do, that she didn't even know how to do, Stephanie came up and said, Alright, this is raw and you don't know how to do this. You could get fired from this and you're not going to come back. And then she goes back to her nine-year-old moment. Fuck that. Stephanie needs to stop acting like Triple H, because Triple H doesn't even know what he wants to be. He's trying to act like this Italian mafia family guy, but he runs runs a corporation in Connecticut. Connecticut. I know it's Connecticut. So that's really dumb. I don't really care for the storyline. And other than that, What else is there to complain about? Because I know there's one more, one more thing to complain about. Yeah, well, it's you're breaking a fourth wall to bring a new fourth wall in. It's already bad enough as it is. Give me some time. I want to see if that glitch happens again. Because it doesn't go past 9.59 now. I 
Oh, okay. So it's still kind of good. Well, then, there's also the problem of... There was one thing I wanted to nitpick, but I wanted to rush it before that could happen. Oh, yeah, going back to the breaking the fourth wall thing. This couldn't happen in the 80s, 90s, or the early zeros. For crying out loud, they had Val Venus there, yet they had to use his real name. Because it doesn't work with the 90s. Could you imagine Undertaker in this kind of reality show thing? Or what about Shawn Michaels and Triple H? It doesn't work. Their characters rely too much on kayfabe. That's what they drive on. Hell, if you brought old school Cena in, too, it wouldn't work either. Could you imagine him when he's not supposed to act like a thug? Shit doesn't work. Hell, you couldn't even bring Alberto the Real to that shit. Because he wasn't in the program because he wouldn't work with him. What about Sin Cara? This shit doesn't work. It only worked for the shallow talent. That's why I feel like Daniel Bryan can barely pull this off. The only reason he can is because he didn't build his character off all these years in the Indies by a gimmick, but rather by his mannerisms and his connection to the fans. That's what kind of gave him his version of charisma. So that's why he can be in this shit and not someone like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> and Hulk Hogan still acts like in character no matter what. That just brings a new problem. Anyway, I'm done with this fucking video. I'm not naked, by the way. I'm wearing all this shit. So I'm, don't flag me. I'm not a freak like that.